What's up y'all, Super here. Today I'm gonna to be checking out two videos from Louis CK. The first one, as you can see, Louis CK on Huck Finn. Uh, that was suggested by a commenter down in one of my other videos, so I appreciate you telling me to check this one out. Uh, the next one is gonna be why gay couples adopt from his special sorry. I'm trying to get through that whole special without recording the whole special all at once. So I've just been going through and finding random clips on YouTube doing it that way so appreciate the comment hope you guys like both of these videos uh we're gonna jump right into it i was reading to my kids the other night we have a rule that if they get their <laughs> teeth brushed <laughs> and their goddamn pajamas on <laughs> by 7 30 i'll read a book those are the rules i'm always glad when they get ready because I like to read to them <laughs> and I do good father I love reading to my girls so we read a book the other night we were reading uh, Tom Sawyer I'm reading them Tom Sawyer because to Mark Twain great author and they're five and nine years old they're young for it but they catch up to it and they're fascinated by the, all the language. he uses big words and beautiful writer and I, I picked Tom Sawyer not Huckleberry Finn because <laughs> Tom Sawyer is a nice kid Goes to school, he goes to church, lives with his aunt. Now, Huckleberry Finn is a dirty little homeless, little white trash creep. <laughs> and the main problem is that he won't stop saying no. I mean, 40 oh. times a page. I, I can't see. Oh, here we go. Uh, I... <clears throat> okay. I avoid censoring my videos i know it fucks up monetization but i'm not there yet so i avoid censoring my videos i don't care what the comedian says generally but today's the day um <laughs> we're gonna be censoring this one on my daughter's bed and just say N all night and then put her to sleep i just ain't gonna do that anyway i'm reading them tom sawyer and it's a real nice book, but then all of a sudden he runs into Huckleberry Finn on the street. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then Tom saw his friend Huck Finn. I'm like, oh, God, okay. All right, let's take it easy here, fellas. Let's just have a nice, quiet conversation here. Let's see how this goes. Huckleberry Finn was carrying a dead cat. It's not a good sign. He's carrying a, he's walking around with a dead cat. Tom Sawyer says, what you doing with a dead cat, Huck? Huck Finn says, gonna cure my warts. <laughs> hey, my kids are fascinated. <laughs> Who told you you could cure warts with a dead cat? Well, Tom Wilson did it. He learned it from Jack Johnson, who learned it from some n down the street. Oh, God. <sighs> All right, girls, listen. Here's the thing. America... People would say this word, and it's not a good word, and I don't know why. I'm so I love Louie. He can just make you laugh at things you don't want to laugh at. Um, I absolutely love this. <laughs> oh, man, he's just a genius. Um, I'm, I'm at a loss for words now because I'm thinking about editing this video, and it's going to be a fucking nightmare. Uh, <laughs> I just can't imagine having two little girls and you're reading this book to them and you're like, fuck, um, all right. <laughs> also, I'm not a parent, so I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, let's see. I'm like Bill Cosby right now. <laughs> I told the girls, you know, these boys are racists. Yes. These boys are racists and they're not nice boys. I think we can still enjoy the stories about the fishing and the trading and 
it's weird, man. There's a, you know, that's part of our history and we gotta, uh, we have to know it's there. And how do you cope with shit in your past that's bad? Like, how do you try to feel like a good country when you've done shitty things as an entire nation? <laughs> How do you take your past and, and still feel good? You know, like I, I, when I was eight years old, I showed my penis to a girl with Down syndrome that lived down the street. <laughs> and I, I got to walk around living with that every day. A uh, funny story. Yesterday, um, I was sitting at my computer uh, playing a video game. And I got an alert on my phone that there was motion at my doorbell. I look out front thinking, ah, oh, the mail's getting delivered or something. There was a little kid pissing on my mailbox. I don't know why. Um, looked at the camera a little bit harder, looked at his face, and realized I know his mom. So I sent her the clip about half an hour later. Uh, get another alert. Same kid. He's out there washing my mailbox. <laughs> I did a lot of dumb shit as a kid, but my god, that takes the cake. One, the house has a camera, and two, the guy knows your mom. That's just... <laughs> he really fucked up. But, oh my god, I felt bad. He was so upset, but... What are you gonna do? I gotta wake up as that guy. I was eight. If I did it yesterday, it would be considered a lot worse. But I'm still the dude that did that. And you did it recently. I was just a kid, but this is still the penis <laughs> that I showed to the girl with Down syndrome by the dumpster behind Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> that happened. Those were my values at eight years old. <laughs> and I know that's an awkward thing to equate to slavery in America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of the same thing. Because that shit happened here. That was... Oh, God. I'm glad that a uh, particular word was only said a few times. Um, I get why he was using it. Like, you know, the comedic value of the book. Um, you know, you can't ignore history, but still not... A fantastic word to say uh but i get it <laughs> but um so let's see why gay couples adopt i love animals i do me too I do we have a weird I have two dogs relationship to animals we three actually them and we play but... with them and we kill them and we eat That's them another story and we stuff them and we draw them i have a dog i love my dog but i don't know my dog We've never had a conversation, not one time. I talk and she just hears for the last taste, pepper corn tasting. Ticket for taste, same pants. She looks at me and I'm like, yes. She's like, what? You don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know this bitch. I have no idea what she's thinking. I really wish I did. I wish I knew what she was thinking. It's my biggest wish maybe in life is that I knew, because I know she has thoughts. I know she does. There's no way she's just like, dog. Dog. <laughs> There's stuff going on in here. I've seen it. Dogs are smart. I mean, my uh, younger dog, Lily, if I'm watching TV and I, like, tell alexa to pause um to, like get up and go get something to drink something she knows what that means and she darts to the back door and she's like oh he's pausing the show he's gonna be getting up in a second i can go outside now she's fucking smart <laughs> so they definitely have thoughts um she's a handful but i love her you ever watch your dog make a decision you ever do watch your dog just walk in the room and then look around like... Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> why? Please tell me why. I think my dog thinks I'm insane. Probably. Because I look at my life through her, through her eyes like, 
I'll watch TV for four hours. <laughs> and from my dog's point of view, I'm just sitting there. <laughs> that is one thing I love about Louie. He makes you think about things you would not normally think about because, yeah, if I'm not at work, not playing games with my friends, and not doing this, I'm typically sitting there watching TV, and my dogs are probably like, why? The fuck? What, what is this? Although, occasionally she does look at the TV, um, especially if there's another dog on the TV and it's barking, she would just, like, like, intently fucking stare at the TV. It's pretty funny. But, yeah, I, I never thought about that. They don't really understand the concept. Why is he laughing? What happened? <laughs> my dog is my life now because my kids are growing up. My kids are in college and they're all, you know, I'm an empty nester. That's what you call it when your kids are gone. Because they grew up, not if they're dead. <laughs> oh, God. It's not used that way. <laughs> my daughter died of leukemia. Hey, you're an empty nester. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I miss it. I miss having little kids. I think about it all the time. I think about it maybe adopting, you know? I could adopt a baby from a third world country. That's a good thing to do, because you can just leave them outside. You don't have to... Okay. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. We've been adopting babies from other countries in America for a long time. You know, other countries do it too, but I live here, so I'll talk about that, but... It's As an you interesting do. thing. It's not a biological imperative to go get a baby from thousands of miles away, but we do, we've been doing that in large numbers here for a long time. And not always for the same reasons. There's been different reasons why we've done it. In the early, like in the 70s when I grew up, sometimes you meet a couple who had an African baby that they brought because they're those kind of, you know, these kinds of people, you know? <laughs> the kind of couples that hold hands when they announce things. <laughs> you know those kind of people? They gather their friends, and they're like, we've decided. You know those? <laughs> they have a farm table with a clay pot of honey on it. <laughs> I know exactly who he's talking about. I think we all know at least one couple like that. That They're uh, too couple-y. I don't know how to put it. <laughs> and their apple juice is cloudy. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Those are the kind of people that just make a trip to hippies, Zimbabwe and essentially. get a baby and name him Kevin and send him to Boston College, whatever. <laughs> that was like the 70s and 80s. Then in the 90s, it became very popular with gay couples started to adopt babies from China because mm -hmm. they want to have a baby, but they can't. They both have dicks. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> gay couples have two dicks. So they can't make a baby. You can try. You can. Really you could. You could try to come into one dick with the other. Like, if you line up the dick holes, line and you can come in the side up. This. <laughs> oh, sorry for pausing it so much, but I just can't with this fucking video so far. This dick and down that one. And then the sperm gets to the balls and, he, and they're like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> we turn around because we're in the balls again. <laughs> <laughs> Whose balls are these? These aren't even his balls. <laughs> oh, he's gay. Fuck. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I'll just swim around till we're dead. It's just the way it is. You're not going to... A baby will never come out of a penis. Yeah, that it's would good. hurt. It's a good thing. Because it's hard for women. Imagine pushing a whole baby out of your penis dick hole. Even just a hand. <laughs> penis dick hole! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so that's why gay couples adopt. That makes, makes total that's sense. Why. 
and often from China because they make a lot of stuff there. Uh, <laughs> So that was that. That was that. The, the gay couples were adopting uh, Chinese babies because they, they couldn't have uh, babies. And then, and then a, a lot of other couples started doing it more in, around the turn of the century. Um, I used to live in Hollywood, which is a pretty awful place. <laughs> and everybody there gets Chinese babies. It's very popular. They go because, and it's not because they can't have babies, and it's not because they're trying to help somebody from far away. It's because they're just busy. They're busy. They want to have a baby, but they don't want to have a baby. You know what I mean? The, that thing where you, you can't have your baby and eat it too or whatever. I don't know how that's <laughs> They don't want to get... Why? Like, why bother if you're too busy to be around? You're just going to adopt one so you don't have to go through the birthing process. Um, but if you're... That, that just, that's fucking backwards pregnant is the point so they go to china they don't even go to china they go to the airport and somebody from china meets them gives them a baby it's true <laughs> they just take it home and then they get a jamaican nanny to watch their chinese Jesus baby Christ. <laughs> and they go to cocktail parties we have a chinese baby it's amazing <laughs> and meanwhile the chinese baby and the jamaican nanny are just alone looking at each other like what are we doing what is it what is this why can't either of us see our families? Why? <laughs> what the fuck is the point of this? Right. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oop, can't start that one yet. Um, as usual, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, thumbs up it. Hit that subscribe button. Um... According to the little YouTube metrics page, 95.5% uh, of you aren't subscribed. So let's get that number up. Let's get it to like 90% of you aren't subscribed. I'm trying to hit like 2,000 subscribers. That'd be great. Uh, or if you didn't like it, thumbs down that shit. Um, leave a mean comment. Do something. Anyway, see you guys later.